G'day guys, Dan from DK Stainless. Today, we're gonna to go do some welding. Specifically, two different types of welding. Fuse welding, which is both sides of the stainless, and filler wire welding. Now, when I say filler wire welding, it's using the TIG process, but adding filler wire. Stay tuned. All right, guys, we're now gonna go do a butt weld uh, by fusing both sides. Safety first. All right, guys, so the material that we are gonna be doing this fusing on is actually 1.2 stainless in 304. First things first, what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna go through and actually tack this up and then close tack this. That way there's no movement and less distortion as we weld. Okay, now once that's done, it's all tacked. You can see it's nice and flat. What we will do is we will just slightly go through and just, just dress. Dress the two surfaces to ensure that they are completely flat. It doesn't have to be hard, it's only 1.2 stainless. So if we do hit it too hard, we will stretch it. Like so, that's all it needs. Now, usually what I would go through and do is I would uh, clamp both sides, but because we have an alley below it as a heat sink, I'm just going to just clamp the one side just for clarity so you guys at home can actually see. And now I'm just gonna go through and fully weld. I'm gonna fuse, well, when I say fully weld, I'm gonna fuse this top side. Something like that. Now what we do is we now go through and fuse the other side. As you can see, because we've only clamped one side, you can see there's actually a slight bit of distortion in it. But that's all right. For this application, that's fine. I noticed that my amps were a tad low. Both the alley below it and the alley heat sink on the sides actually drawing a lot of heat out of the stainless. So that's why that well was so small. So I just bumped it up to about 45 amps. And now we just fully weld this side. Whoops. And there you have it, both sides are fully fused. So now if you want to go through and polish this, which will be in the next video, you can just go through, dress the backside, which will force the, uh, the top to be dead flat. And then you can start the polishing process. Now we're gonna go through and do the other butt weld where we're gonna actually add filler wire only to the top. So the advantages of only fusing uh, or fusing both sides is you actually get a whole heap less distortion. You get a lot, there's a lot less heat that goes into the material. Uh, whereas when you're using filler wire, like we're about to do here, there's a lot more heat going into the material. So there's gonna be a lot more distortion. So with this one, I will actually use the two backing bars. We'll go through the same process. We're gonna go tack top and bottom in the middle and then close tack it just to avoid any any distortion or any um, misalignment. Gotcha. 
Alrighty. All right, guys. Same thing, we're gonna chuck it over here and just lightly dress it, just to make sure everything's aligned properly. Again, it doesn't have to be hard. If you do it too hard, you'll stretch the material. And as you can see, that is dead flat. All right, now we're gonna go one backing bar on that side, because this will have a fair bit of distortion in it. I'll put another clamp on that side. All right, now you can use either your 1.6 filler wire. With this, I'll probably just use one, uh, the 0.9 filler wire. It'll just make it a nice small weld so that uh, when we come to grind it off later, there's not so much, that we, so much material that we have to take off. Biggest thing with this one is just making sure you get in a comfortable position, which I cannot right at this point in time. So I'm gonna change my clamp setup. If you talk to pretty much any welder, they'll all say the same thing. If you're uncomfortable, you won't weld it real good at all. You need to be comfortable to weld nicely, accurately, and efficiently. All right. I'll do this in a couple of stages. Nice, consistent dabs. Making sure that the actual join is directly in the center of your weld pool. Gosh, those alley bars are really drawing a lot of heat, which is good. All right. So you can see there that some of those, some of those dabs are a little bit far apart. But for this exercise, that works good. And as you can see, there's not a lot of distortion. There's not a lot of penetration on this, as I can see now. But there's just enough there so that once we grind it, if, if you had to grind the top off this, it's not going to crack. The wall's not going to crack. All right. Stay tuned, guys. The next video, we're gonna, I'm going to show you how to dress these or dress the one that's fused and how to completely polish this to a number four finish. All right guys, and there you have it. Fusing, both sides are stainless, and using filler wire. The advantages of using the fusing both sides is yes, it's still strong, uh, but it creates a lot less heat, therefore a lot less distortion. Advantages of this one, using the filler wire, is you can go way up, way up in the material thickness, and sometimes you just can't get to the back or the other side of the stars to weld. So that's where you use that one. Next week, I'm gonna show you how to dress both of these up, fill the wire not so much, then go through the whole polishing process of how to polish these to a number four finish. Stay tuned, guys. All right, guys, we're now gonna go and Ah, uh, yeah. You do like mouth, like, Exercises that. Mm. Oh my God! Oh no! It's getting close. Get the mouth movement.